This is the Etsy Conversations podcast resource episode 57, tips for outsourcing and working with freelancers. If your Etsy endeavors have grown to the point where you need to hire some extra help, then I have some tips for you on how to outsource and work with freelancers without losing your mind or your rights. First off, write everything down. I've watched enough Judge Judy, I'll admit, to know that you need to put everything in writing, even if it's in a text message or email, even though having a formally drawn up document is preferable, of course. In a written contract, you can include information about fees, payment schedules, product or service delivery expectations, etc. And then once both parties sign off on it, and agree to it, everyone is protected, so to speak. Basically, all expectations will have officially been set and agreed to once it's uh, the official contract is signed off on. If you need to, go ahead and pay a lawyer to draw up the contract for you. Sometimes it's just worth the money. If the person you're contracting with has a contract of their own, then you need to be sure you read and understand it fully before signing it. Again, if you need to, have a lawyer review the contract to ensure that your interests are protected. Then there's the issue of copyright. Who owns the copyright? Depending on the type of work you hire a freelancer to do for you, sometimes the issue of copyright ownership is something that you'll need to address. For example, if you hire a photographer to do your product photography, who owns the creative work, the work that's created? Now, because, at least in the U.S., a creative work is protected by copyright laws as soon as it's created, you have to make sure that you include clauses in your contracts regarding who owns the work created by freelancers and by employees that you hire. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm going to give you my disclaimer here. I'm not offering any legal advice here, except to say that you should talk to an actual lawyer when you get to the stage of hiring freelancers and employees, because there are laws in place regarding who retains copyright ownership under different circumstances. And also, a lawyer can draw up contracts to help protect your work and the work that's done for you by others. Thank you for listening to this very quick episode. Please join me next week when I'll be talking with Nicole. Nicole runs the Etsy shop Lost in Lettering. And Nicole went from tax accounting to graphic design. And I think you'll find her Etsy journey particularly inspiring.